All right, this is the Salt Lake City International Airport in Utah. Salt Lake City, Utah. I'm going to show you how to navigate through the airport, get to baggage claim, get to ground transportation, and more. All right, so let's go ahead and go ahead through this airport. I'm just going to show you what it has to offer. See right there is some great designs. It looks like some sort of bird or plane. It is definitely not Superman. Now, when you get off your plane, you'll definitely want to look at the signage right there. It says two gates B. I am now near gate A3. As you can see, I'm in this terminal right here. As I get off of the plane, there are restaurants almost right away. There's a California pizza kitchen right to the left. And of course, they have nice bathrooms. And what is this? Beecher's homemade cheese. I don't know why. This must be some sort of Utah thing. I've never heard of anything like this. Let's see what kind of cheese. Whatever it's anything like cheese curds that you get in Wisconsin. So let's go ahead and check this out and see what they're all about. Looks like cheese to me. A whole lot of cheese. And you can get some water to wash it down with. But let's go ahead and get started and get going through the airport. Now one of the things that I noticed about this airport is that it is very clean. Very, very clean. Cleaner than any other airport in the United States that I've seen. They also have they also have screens where you can check to see where your next plane is about to leave or if something has arrived. They have it all. Now, they have these uh, escalator things. I still do not know what they're called. When they don't escalate, they actually just go forward. But I'll get on that in a second. But I'm going to go ahead and take a look outside of the airport. Not only is the airport clean but you can look outside and see how clean the state of utah is a very beautiful beautiful state clean all around nice mountains yeah breath of fresh air so let's go ahead and get back to what we were doing we were going to go on the escalator get to ba grab baggage claim excuse me tongue twister and ground transportation such as uber lyft and whatnot. So we're going to go ahead and get back to that. And so I get on the escalator thing. Uh, can someone tell me what this thing is called? Because I call it an escalator, even though it doesn't escalate, it still has the same functions of an escalator. What kind of dog is that also? I don't know. Fluffy dog. Anyway, so I'm on this people mover. That's what I'm going to call it, a people mover. And it's actually saving me leg energy. I'm tired. I've been on a plane and I quite frankly don't want to walk so it's very convenient that they have these people movers that do the walking for me now like I said there's a lot of restaurants I believe that was a Jumba Juice and a lot of restrooms I guess they're selling water everywhere so I'm, they should have restrooms everywhere because you're drinking a lot of water a Lego store if you want to pick up some uh, toys for the cakeys now you are on your way all right, so we're going to keep on walking down here. There's a Lego store. I think that, what is that? Is that a Starbucks right there? Why are people waiting in line? Very, very interesting. It looks like a Starbucks, but it smells like a Starbucks, but I'm not sure exactly what it is. But anyway, I'm going to get back on. I'm going to go ahead and get back on to the people mover. Everyone seems so friendly so far. Of course, I'm not saying anything to anyone, but they just seem like friendly people in Utah. Am I right? Now, when you're going on the people mover, it's important that you pay attention to the signage because you want to make sure that the people mover is taking you as a person in the right direction, moving you in the right direction, not keeping you still and not taking you to the wrong direction. And look at the signage right there. It says A16 and I'm going. It's Seems like a large airport, but it's not as large as some other airports that have gone through. And what is this? Read the signage. More bathrooms. I think that was the third bathroom that I passed. There is signage right there that is saying Garbanza. And then something that says to be gates. So if you need to transfer your gates, look for the yellow signage if you're trying to go to a different gate. Because I am... I was just on the A, and I guess that was direction for it to go to the B. But I'm going to keep on going because I have not seen a sign that says ground transportation or baggage claim that leads me to those. 
Well, that looks interesting. That looks like a massage. You can get a massage. That's pretty cool to have inside of the Utah Salt Lake City International Airport. That was a mouthful to say. I had to take a deep breath for that, but I'm going to keep on getting. It seems like there are a whole lot of people movers moving. Not a whole lot of people around. And I'm quite, I'm not quite sure why. Um, not not really quite sure why a lot of people aren't getting up. Maybe they want to keep on walking, but to each their own. Is that the proper pronoun? I'm not sure. Uh, so I'm going to keep on going down here. And there are a lot of people in here, a lot of families, it seems like. A lot of restaurants. Everything seems to be clean. What is that restaurant? It says Cafe Rio. So it must be some sort of French restaurant. But I'm not quite sure. And another restroom. Uh, I guess they specialize in restrooms at the Salt Lake City International Airport. They have abundance of restrooms because I guess people like to rest. I'm not sure. Let's keep on moving on. So Salt Lake right there. So... Uh, it looks like some sort of store that they call Salt Lake, maybe because they're in Salt Lake International Airport. I'm not sure, but we're going to get on yet another people mover. All right. So this is, I believe, the fourth people mover that I'm getting on, perhaps the third. I lost count because there's so many. And I'm going to try to walk down this so I can get to the destination a little bit faster. So I'm going, going, going. What does that say? A24. I almost wonder why they don't have a people mover where you sit down, such as in a train, airport train. What is this? Another land speed trinket store. I'm not exactly sure. A Panera bread. All right. So they have Panera bread over there. I kind of want in the mood for one of those bread bowls, you know, with the soup that goes in there. Might have to make a stop. Now, the signage on the side that shows you that planes that are, have arrived or departed on during the middle of the uh, hallway and a coach store for those of you who are bourgeois, okay, you want to buy something fancy like a coach purse or coach bag or maybe some coach shoes or maybe your uh, sports team isn't good. Maybe you should stop in there and get a new coach. All right, but we're going to keep on moving on. Now, going down the line, and a lot of restaurants, it's early in Mignana, a.k.a., I guess that's morning in French, I guess, I'm not sure. Uh, restaurants, bars, and people. Is that a pilot in front of me? He's supposed to be on the plane. Where's the pilot going? But anyway, I'm just going to keep on scrolling down, strolling down the road. It's not yellow brick, but... It's leading me to the right direction. TripAdvisor. Okay, so they actually have a store. I wonder if they sell anything that's associated with travel. Not sure, but I'll have to check that out at some point. And it almost seems like it's some sort of mall that I'm going through. It says hip and humble. Yeah, it's in, I, I'm seeing more stores than I am seeing airplanes or places to wait for the airplane. So that's uh, kind of interesting. Uh, I guess they want to shop a lot you know, in here. Oh, wow. That's a nice looking glass pane over there. I'm going to have to take a look at that after I go down here. I believe this is the direction for the baggage claim and ground transportation. Now, upon getting down here, is that a shake shack over there? I might have to get me a shake and a shack, I guess, or a shake and a burger. All right, you know what I'm talking about. But either way, I'm just going to keep on walking down here. And hand sanitizer, I probably need some of that. Pizzeria. As you can see that I keep on talking about food. So perhaps I'm hungry. Now look at that. Baggage claim, ground transportation. So look at the yellow signs. So you, when you get to the exit to go towards ground transportation or uh, baggage claim look for the yellow signage and that should take you there and that's a brief tour through the utah international airport thanks a lot for watching